Good morning. Happy Saturday. It's been a while, but cartoons are on, cereal's up. Today, I'm finally getting around to a gift that my friend Kelly brought up from that country that is beneath us. IHOP cereal. What will they think of next? International House of Pancakes is not quite so prevalent up here as it is down there. If we want pancakes, we make them at home or we go to Smitty's or Denny's. Not International House of Pancakes where apparently there's lots and lots to choose from. Today's cereal, blueberry and syrup. What I love most about these American products actually is not necessarily what's inside. I love the packaging. I find it refreshing that there is no French on the other side of this box. Thank you, country that is beneath us. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's a very powerful aroma right off the bat. Let's have a look here at it. Oat milk for health. Have they even heard of this stuff down there? And away we go. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to get in your movie. That's beautiful. I like that. My boy, with your ability, I keep you in my movies. I'll make you a star. It takes a while. It smells better than it tastes. Um, when I first bit into it, it tasted like wood or sawdust almost, and, and then the flavor was revealed after a few bites. And now it's going through a sort of a, a, a dog food kind of a phase. What a strange cereal this is. I'm getting wood, I'm getting sawdust, I'm getting dog food. And then at the very end, I'm getting kind of a afterglow of blueberry pancakes, but just a hint of it. I don't think I can recommend this. Sorry, Kelly. Sorry country that is beneath us. What a team we've made, car and feathers. <laughs> no. No. Not this. By the way, does anyone know what I'm watching? It's called Sinbad Jr. from the mid to late 60s. It squeaked in just in time. Just in time for a big change that happened in around 1966 when there were complaints about violence in cartoons. That's why the new adventures of Superman changed into Super Friends. And that's why we didn't see heroes quite so often solving their problems by punching things or shooting things or destroying things or blowing things up. Different types of problems were presented for kids with different types of problem solving. That's why we had mysteries all of a sudden. Science, all of a sudden. And musicals, all of a sudden. I think it was a step in the right direction 60 years ago. I sometimes lament that we seem to have forgotten that shift away from violence as a way to solve a problem. But every once in a while, it's nice to see a hero punching the crap out of a bunch of bad guys now, isn't it? <laughs> See you next time.